Hello, my name is Guy. I'm the owner operator of Detail Woodworks. We're a custom cabinet shop in Germantown, Wisconsin. And we're going to try and do some YouTube items and maybe some Facebook content. Um, Got to bear with me a little. I don't know anything about this hero camera, but we're going to do that. And uh, we're going to start trying to start some content and start to show you a little bit about all what goes into custom cabinet making and how people purchase custom cabinets, install custom cabinets, schedule production, how I order material, where I get material from, who brings material, how it all goes, how the employees work, how customers choose things, how choices are made, how just a plethora of custom cabinet items that maybe it'll help you. Maybe it'll help you decide on a species of wood or a paint or a color or something maybe you're going through your model and you don't quite know how to do something we'll take some custom pieces one at a time we'll follow some jobs all the way through the shop we'll follow some uh, big projects through the install um i gotta quit saying um so jordan will have to edit that out we're gonna show you how woodworking is done basically how we compete against box cabinets and what kind of quality differences you can expect we're going to do all sorts of different things we're going to have some fun we're going to smash some cabinets and see who holds up better all that kind of stuff so if I'd like to have you guys come along you know uh, smash the like button i guess is how it said so smash it see what we can do we um have one particular project going on right now uh, and we're going to show that from start to finish uh, it happens to be my own home after 16 years in business the <laughs> shoemakers kids finally going to get some shoes i'm not going to lie it takes a long time to get established and set up and through it i started in a two-car garage did a few projects, uh, <laughs> pissed off the neighbors. We moved to a different building, added on to that building. And now we moved down to the industrial park in Germantown, Wisconsin. Uh, love the space. And it's double what we had in Hartford. <laughs> but it's already too small. Uh, but none of this has to happen if you're going to do any of this in your garage or in your basement. You can do them. It does work. We used to do everything manually, all by hand, all on a table saw. That's how I started, with a table saw in the garage. Now we've got a CNC to cut parts and big double head wide belt sander, all those kind of things that make this equipment and craft and trade go much faster and smoother. I also have uh, four employees plus myself and my wife. Like I said, it's a little bigger monster than it is uh, just um, doing, you know, stuff in the basement or garage. But that's how it all started. That's where I started. I started right out of high school. Uh, day I graduated, I went to a cabinet shop and started cutting countertops. So I've got a few years in. I'm, um, I'm 54. So that puts me in the trade for 36 years. So... I know a little bit about some stuff. And again, we're going to answer questions or comments or anything you might have to maybe help somebody or help you guys along the way or just help you make a decision on which, what, where, who, and when to buy. I know today's real estate market's really rough, so a lot of people are just affording barely to get into houses. But sooner or later, you'll get through and you'll be looking for something. And I don't plan on going anywhere, so we're going to be around, and uh, we work on stuff from fireplace bookcases to uh, mantles, offices, bars, to full kitchen remodels, whole homes of all the kitchen, mudroom, all the bathrooms, bar, kitchenettes, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So along with teaching you some things about woodworking and cabinet making or purchasing or cabinets for your home or anything like that we're going to talk about the trials and tribulations that go on in a custom shop so that everyone can see it's not always peaches and cream everything sometimes has issues 
carts of doors fall over and wreck stuff. Finish needs to be redone. Glue lines are in the way and the stain doesn't take and all of these things that go along. Machinery breaks, uh, you know, all those things. So we're going to watch all of that and see if you guys can get any entertainment out of it and learn something along the way. So it should be fun. I, I hope we're going to have a good time and... Uh, you know, like I said, smash the like button. So let's roll along and see how this goes. Glad to have you guys with us. See ya.